The price of sodium surprisingly has just gone up a fair bit. Why? Well, BYD and CATL are now producing sodium batteries. And surprisingly, they are actually not just going to use them for energy storage. They're also going to be used in electric cars as well. However, this technology has a very, very long way to go. We're just in the early stages here. There's going to be many different breakthroughs. And now one has just occurred. Australian researchers have developed, have developed a breakthrough sodium battery technology. This new battery technology uses a type of molten salt processed from seawater, and it's been successfully tested in Australia by an international team of researchers. It's the real deal. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. My name is Sam Evans, and I'm coming to you from Melbourne in Australia. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. Really appreciate your support. Led by Dr. Shen Long Zhao from the University of Sydney's School of Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering, the battery is made using sodium sulfur and could be a cheaper alternative to lithium. Now, CATL has said their sodium batteries will, within the next couple of years, be around 30% cheaper, which is a huge number compared to their current lithium iron phosphate batteries, which are currently the cheapest batteries in the world which are mass manufactured. A 30% decrease in price is massive. That's game changing. Industrial use of clean energy sources is accelerating, as is household energy storage, but cost remains a barrier for many. One of the key reasons when I ask people, why don't you have battery storage for all that solar on your roof? You're wasting so much of it is they say that batteries are still too expensive. Well, that is definitely about to change. One sodium battery has the potential to dramatically reduce costs while providing four times as much storage capacity, said Zhao. This is a significant breakthrough for renewable energy development. The team of researchers who have had their research published in the journal Advanced Materials so this new low-cost battery will significantly reduce the cost of transitioning to a decarbonized economy. Now, the costs are already going down as a result of lithium-ion phosphate battery technology, but now they're about to come down even more. Sodium batteries will continue to bring the price down. And remember, there's enough sodium on the planet to make all the batteries we could potentially ever need. When the sun isn't shining and the breeze isn't blowing, we need high quality storage solutions that don't cost the earth and they're easily accessible on a local or regional level, Zhao said. We hope that by providing a technology that reduces costs, we can reach a clean energy horizon much quicker. The faster we decarbonize, the better chances we have of capping global warming. He said that energy storage manufactured using plentiful resources like sodium, which can be processed from seawater, could also allow more countries to join the shift to net zero emissions. Although sodium sulfur batteries have existed for more than half a century, they have been viewed as an inferior alternative because of low energy capacity and short life cycles. But that is about to change. Using a simple pyrolysis process and carbon-based electrodes, the battery took on super high capacity and ultra long life at room temperature. It completely changed the battery's performance. The researchers say this new salt-based battery is also more energy dense and a less toxic alternative to lithium-ion batteries, which while used extensively in electronic devices and for energy storage are expensive to manufacture and recycle. The battery has been specifically designed for large renewable energy storage systems such as electrical grids. And currently lab scale batteries have been fabricated and tested in the University of Sydney's chemical engineering facility there's plans to improve and commercialize these cells. Now, yes, of course, this is just the start. Much work needs to be done before these batteries are actually seen in mass production. But clearly, we already know that sodium battery cells have come a long way in the last few years. The key reason why BYD and CATL say they'll be mass manufacturing them in 2023. So within only a few months time. So how could this be a potential, a potential opportunity for us? I mean, this is getting in early, right? We want to get in early to a market. Maybe now's the time. I don't think anyone's really talking about sodium, investing in it. 
but this could be an opportunity. Dana Carley is preparing to capitalize on recent gains in the rock salt spot price, moving to leverage the rock salt resource at its sulfate of potash project in Eritrea, which boasts the world's highest GORC resource of potash with a solid salt reserve of 1.1 billion tons. 1.1 billion tons and a rock salt resource of 347 million tons at 97% sodium chloride. There's enough sodium and sodium chloride here at this facility to produce millions and millions of electric cars. DNK considers Kaluli's rock salt a potentially economic resource due to positive shifts in the rock salt market caused by a new generation of sodium ion batteries developed by CATL and BYD, the two biggest battery companies in the world. These new sodium ion E cells are capable of charging faster, operating at lower temperatures, and also potentially even storing more energy than lithium ion phosphate batteries, with the added bonus of 30% lower raw material production costs. Plus, no nickel is needed, neither are any rare earths or cobalt. So what's happening? Well, it's already started. The gold rush is already here. We might have been too late, or maybe not. Rock salt prices have been rapidly rising over the last 12 months, averaging about 47% growth by that metric, with the current average price now sitting at 60 US dollars per ton. Rock salt is seen as a potential source of sodium needed for the mass production of sodium batteries. However, there are actually other uses for it. Other primary applications for rock salt include its use for de-icing, water treatment, and in the chemical, aluminum, oil, paper, textile, and food industries. But this extra potential revenue stream of batteries is enormous. Chair of the company said, this mine is a 200 year life of mine project. The rock salt resource represents another potential revenue stream and reinforces our primary business model. We believe the new generation of sodium ion battery development is an opportunity that complements other potential end uses for our mined rock salt given Kalul's proximity to regional markets. And guess what? I agree. I'm going to do some research. In fact, I've started, started about a month ago into the best companies that will be producing this material, mining it, refining it, whatever it may be. I'm going to learn all about it. And I'm definitely going to invest in one of one or maybe two of these companies. Because so I think this is an opportunity that should not be ignored. Now I'll have a new video up on the channel, revealing with you the results of my research and who I decided to invest in. I'm also invested in a lithium miner as well. I'll disclose who that is in a future video. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Have a great day. Bye-bye.